In this video, I'm going to show you how to faux piece. The end result is strips that look like they've been pieced, but this is a much easier method because you're starting with a strip of fabric and sewing down really scraps of fabric on top of it. So it looks like you've done a lot of work, but you haven't. Let me show you how. So here I have my strip. This particular one is six inches, but you can cut it whatever size you need for whatever you're making. And then I have some fabric scraps. Then this is a great way to use up your scraps. And now what I'm gonna do is just to show you where we're going, where we're gonna end up. What I've done is I've taken one of these fabric scraps and turned the edges under. And then I use a decorative stitch, like a blanket stitch, to put it on with. And, um, but you could use an invisible thread or do a satin stitch or whatever you want to do. I just thought it was a good idea and a good opportunity to use some of the decorative stitches and some pretty threads. This is a 40 weight cotton mako from Aurifil and it gives it that nice um, texture that's a little heavier than your normal sewing 50 weight. So what I want to do is keep adding strips here. So probably I would want to do a red next. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this down to the size that I want. And so that's a pretty straight edge. It doesn't really matter because you're not after anything you don't, you don't have to worry about a seam allowance, you're just going to turn it under. So it doesn't matter what it's going to be. But if I turn this under both ways, that's going to give me something about the size that I want. So here's my pressing board and I'm going to get my iron and turn under these edges. So what I'll do is just turn under one and again, I'm not worrying about how much I'm turning it under, it doesn't matter. It's just whatever size I want in the end. So I'm turning that under and then I'll turn the other side under. And when I'm doing this, I'm thinking, you know, I don't want this to look perfect. I don't want it to look like, oh my gosh, I was trying to make things that were equal sizes all the way along because it's not going to be. So I want to make sure that it looks thinner and thicker on one end versus the other so that it's for sure that I meant to do it this way. I wasn't trying to make perfectly straight strips. So once you've done all of those, then it's just a simple matter of placing them along your strip and then just stitching them down just like we did here. You may pin them down in place if you feel the need. I didn't, but it all depends on how you feel that they didn't shift. I was holding them with my fingers. One thing I did do was I started stitching up in here because I was doing that edge decorative stitch and it was great because I could start along there and make sure I was along the edge. And the other thing, if I were doing a whole bunch of these, what I would do is I would sew this seam and then I'd take my next set that's like this, my next strip with the applique pieces to be put on and it just feed them through and then that way you would be able to do these very quickly. And they really look good. For more video lessons like this, visit bondsimporter.com.